Hey, hey, everybody. This is Larry. This is the 1st of July. Uh, happy July. Uh, if you're new to this channel, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. We usually solve every problem live and hopefully get the streak going. This is my, I don't know, 12, 13, I don't know, 15 months straight or something like that. You could, it's a long streak. Anyway, today's problem is gray code. Okay. Um, okay. So the key part about this one, um, it's just a lot of literature. I think there are definitely, um, so gray code is something that has a, ha, it's very well studied. There's its own Wikipedia article probably and kind of just go through it. Um, I don't remember too much about this and I don't know if, if knowing it helps too much. But the key thing to notice is just that, you know, you could think about the gray code in a number of ways, um, but you can think about it as a n-dimensional hypercube and then kind of think about having that graph and that graph has an Eulerian cycle. Um, and and because it has an Eulerian cycle, then you just try to figure out a way to, um, to kind of go through all the path once, right? Um, is it Eulerian or Hem? Huh, maybe I mixed it up. I meant Hamiltonian cycle. Um, hmm, is that true? No, 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 no. Is it, yeah, so, yeah, I think Ham cycle. Um, though I think they're different things as well, but but yeah, there are a couple of algorithms that you can do here. Um, and the way that I always do it is just kind of a, a sort of a greedy. Um, yeah, it's gonna be Hamiltonian cycle, but it, it's a little bit sort of a greedy. Um, which is that I start at any number and here it doesn't really matter because it really doesn't matter which number you start at. So I'm going to start at zero and then you just kind of find one bit at a time going to a bit that you cannot or going to um, a node, if you will, or a number that you haven't visited before until until you reached all two to the n um to do the n numbers. So that, let's get started. Let's play around with that idea. I think that's roughly right. Um, but again, if you ask me how I know this to be answered, the answer is that I think I've done similar problems before. And some of this is just knowledge from the past. Um, I So if you don't, or if you're not familiar with it, maybe just read up on the literature a little bit. Um, I, I, I don't know if this is a good one to kind of prove. And it's kind of a weird one for the 1st of July. I'll tell you on an interview, um, if I, I see there's an interview, I expect quite a lot more hints or something like that or telling you how to do it because it's just very weird. Because um, I think like if you really want to be strict about it, um, you probably have to prove this correct, which is harder than it, it sounds because, I don't know, there's a lot of mad people who, you know, write papers on stuff like this, right? So I mean that's a, just a little bit awkward. Anyway, so let, let's get started. Um, but also the other thing to note is that n is less than 16, which is, has to be small because, you know, they're two to the n number of outputs. So, yeah. So we just have a thing where we, where we set for the used. And then we're also going to have current is equal to zero. And maybe the answer is just an array. So actually, it's, yeah, I guess we don't even need the current. We just need the last element of answer. So, yeah. So let's just go from range from, from one. This is of course, I use bit shift, but that is just two to the n, which is what we said earlier. Um, this may be off by one to be honest. So let, let's play along with it. So this is the last number. Um, and then let's just try all n bits. So starting with the zero bit, and then we can probably do it that way. Hmm. If and this is just the operation that uh is defined into the in the problem. If this is in used or not in use, then we we want to use it. Uh, mm, okay. Current is um uh, uh, let's just say next number is equal to this thing. If it is not used, then we set it to used. 
Oh, uh, actually, it's a set, so we set set to use like this, and then we are pan it by next. Just just a lot of typo. I cannot type today. Um, and that's pretty much it. Probably, I think this should be good, but let's run it real quick. Cause, um, I think the thing that I would worry about is just that this doesn't complete or something like that. Mm. Oof, that's not quite right. Oh, I have to put zero in used. Hmm. Okay, so that's good, but I don't know. Mm. So this breaks out this loop, and then it should go here, right? So then, why doesn't this happen again? Why doesn't this go to three? Uh, so n is two. So one to the two is. Did I did I mess up? Maybe I mixed it up. Hmm. What am I doing wrong? Huh, so that's the core idea I have here, but why am I not... This should... On the next elevation, this should... be true. Oh, I am dumb. This is... Okay. I meant this where basically this is the bit offset, and we want to shift. We want to XOR, meaning flipping by one bit. So the... Basically, the idea here is that, um, just to go over it a little bit, I think I kind of jumped to the code a little bit early today. Um, but what I mean, why am I using an XOR? An XOR means that we're changing it one bit at a time. And by shift, by choosing which bit that we do, we shift it one bit at a time. What a silly mistake though. My bad. <laughs> so yeah, so that now looks good. And of course, that's that's run some small numbers because there are only 16 possible inputs so if you're on, on an interview or even uh competitive if you happen to get something like this uh you can probably just run it out i would even t i would just run 16 later but i would just kind of eyeball these because 2 to 16 has a lot of numbers so here we can kind of see and and this is actually i don't know if we i don't think oh actually we have the same output as the one that they do okay because sometimes uh in here it might, they're not um, the answer is not distinct, right? So because there are other ways of doing it. For example, if you go from the the nth bit first, you can get from zero to like basically you, a, a easy different answer is just this, but backwards or something, right? So that's why I'm actually surprised that we actually match perfectly. So then now let's just give it a sixteen. Uh, the way the reason why I choose a big number is just to see if it kind of goes too long or something like that. Um, but and it, it's so in, no looking at the time it looks fast it looks good i mean I actually to be honest i knew this but i just you know kind of it's a good muscle to practice and exercise as you you know as, as you keep on doing it it'll be good to you know uh do it all the time okay so now uh what is the complexity of this right well the complexity of this is let's click on the submit one first because i keep forgetting it some days no, so this is accepted, so that's good. Uh, so is the complexity. Well, here this is two to the n, and this is o, this is n or o of n. So together, this is o of n times two to the n. Uh, in terms of space, this is going to be o of two to the n space because that's the size of the output. Though we also, you know, here we also. Um, uh, trade space for time um, so it's also another two to the n space to save another um, lookup time otherwise you would have to look up this array which uh, is another two to the n factor um, that's all I have for this one um, I think there's a this is one of those problems that if you have trouble understanding this video um, and I don't blame you or even solutions when you look at it on the internet and you do googling or whatever and some of that is because People who know the solution already knows the some properties of gray code, um, and, and it becomes, and so it's not fair, right? So it's not like, and, and in that sense, it, it makes it a kind of a crappy interview question unless the interviewer really guides you, which is why I said earlier, like they have to give you a lot of hints because, like, 
like proving this is probably like a paper. I mean, maybe not anymore because it's known, but like at some point in the past, right? Might even have someone's name on it. I don't. I don't know. I don't actually know this thing, but but um. But yeah, so I don't really think this is like a good learning problem, which is makes it really awkward for the first problem of July, uh, on Leak Code. But, but yeah, um, but let me know what you think. And the cool thing is that here, even though I started at zero, you can actually start at any number. It may even be a follow up, um, because the the key thing to start at any number is just that knowing that um, knowing that. Because this this number, uh, or this sequence, if you will, has every number from one to two to the n, or zero from two to the two to the n minus one, to be more precise. And therefore, you can just imagine starting at any number in the middle. It's just that same sequence, but transposed or something like that. Um, and there are different ways you can go, obviously, um, depending on how you do the algorithm. But but you know, uh, it will always terminate as a result. Um, and some of that is maybe beyond the scope of this video because I'm just, even though it's already 10 minutes long I'm still trying to keep it short but but yeah let me know what you think about this problem uh, I usually solve these live I might mention it a little bit too late this time but so that you could see my thought process and you know and feel free to kind of fast forward to this is the end but uh but yeah I, I intend to do this for the rest of July so you know subscribe hang out chill join me on discord talk about this problem and other problems and yeah um, that's all I have for this one. That's all I have for today. Happy Thursday. Have a great rest of the week. 4th of July is coming up if you're American. I mean, 4th of July is coming up even if you're not American. But if you celebrate it, you know, hope you have a great weekend. Uh, I will see you soon. And to good mental health. Bye-bye.